Singapore will make some incoming travelers wear an electronic monitoring device to ensure that they comply with coronavirus quarantines as the city-state gradually reopens its borders. Authorities said on Monday from August 11th, the devices will be given to incoming travelers, including citizens and residents from a select group of countries, who will be allowed to isolate at home rather than at a state-appointed facility. Allow oh, isn't that nice? Will allow you to isolate at home. Similar measures use, using electronic wristbands to track people's movements during quarantine have been used in Hong Kong and South Korea. Travelers to Singapore are required to activate the device, which use uh, GPS and Bluetooth signals upon reaching their home and will receive notifications on the device, which they must acknowledge. Any attempt to leave home or tamper with the device will trigger an alert to the authorities. Hong Kong in March introduced a scheme for incoming travelers to use a slim electronic wristband similar to a tag worn by hospital patients to enforce quarantines for arriving passengers. South Korea has also used such wristbands connected to smartphone apps for those who violate quarantine. Singapore, which has not given details on what the device will look like, said in a statement that it will not store any personal data, does not have any voice or video recording function. Oh, well, that's so reassuring, isn't it? Those age 12 and below will not have to wear the devices because... Now, wait, is it because... I can't remember. Help me out here, Jim. Is it because the virus doesn't ever get infected or carried by people under 12 or they're just not capable of enforcing it that freaking thoroughly yet because they haven't scared us enough the city state which is also planning uh to give all residents wearable virus tracing uh, a wearable virus tracing dongle has tough punishment i actually like that word dongle it's just kind of funny in this context in particular has tough punishments for breach of its quarantine and social distancing rules under the infectious diseases act punishment can be Fines of up to $10,000, that's uh, Singaporean in U.S., $7,272. Yeah. As if the disease doesn't affect poor people enough, if they accidentally screw up your silly rules, you're going to make them broke. You're going to put them in a bankruptcy or, or make them homeless. That's that. Yeah. All right. Or imprisonment of up to six months. No, we can put you in a government housing program. <laughs> uh, it has also revoked the work passes of foreigners who flouted the rules. Singapore has reported ah, blah, 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 blah. Not going to repeat the numbers. So, out of context, it's just fear mongering. I'm not anti number or science. I'm actually more pro science than anybody who's disregarding the facts and reality in order to support these policies. And now you might go, hey, Adam, just incoming travelers to Singapore? How many people does that affect? And you might be right. Say, so, you know, in and of itself, not a big deal. There are ripple effects and there are implications. It's like, you know, the Voltaire saying, those who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. Well, maybe they're just testing this now. Did we get them to believe enough of the absurd story of this virus that they can commit this minor atrocity? They could self-inflict it if we're really clever. <clears throat> well, let's test it out. Let's see if we get away with this minor one, see if we can escalate. You know, but Adam, this is Singapore. Way more regimented, obedient Asian culture and society. We brought you the story from <laughs> Kentucky last week where a couple was forced to wear ankle bracelets and in a more intrusive way than what they're doing in Singapore. This was just for testing positive. And they were greeted at the door of their home by surprise by a team of the local American coronaphobia enforcement squad. Multiple law enforcement officers and multiple state agencies represented whatever the Kentucky State Department of Health calls itself, and then some other related agency. We have to fight this. We cannot accept it. You cannot just even passively go and say, I'm going to wear a mask right now. Because this is where this is going. This is the slippery slope. And I, I don't, I, I'm not making the slippery slope argument to say, well, no, you can't. 
you can't let them put on masks or let let you force you can't let them force you to wear a mask because they might force you to wear a face shield next. No. It's they've killed millions of people. The governments have killed uh, all altogether. I don't know. We, we track it in democide in the, in the hundreds of millions of people. They've just by by regulation killed hundreds of millions more. And you want to give them this extra power. I'm not saying, hey, we're somewhere at the top of a slope and we might slip down. We're like halfway down. And as a libertarian going, hey, can we reverse this? And it's yeah, is, is the slope the best metaphor? I don't know. But certainly it seems like you can call it a physical direction metaphorically. No, this is a bad direction. And we're accelerating in a bad direction in a lot of scary ways because too many people accepted the propaganda and and haven't resisted it in their in their own lives. Britain to roll out millions of 90-minute coronavirus tests according to Reuters. How long does it get test take to get tested in the United States? 2 weeks still a, a few hours of waiting in line and then 2 weeks for a result. Unless you're rich and you can afford one of the good tests in which case who knows. Or you're lucky like me and have supporters who are willing to engage in a kind of civil disobedience, illegally importing tests where I got, I don't know if it's really illegal. It was against rape. And maybe it's not illegal because they just distribute it for, for Adam versus the man and random libertarian punditry purposes. But no, I got a prick test. I know 45 minutes. So Reuters, what are they talking about here? Millions of COVID-19 tests able to detect the virus within 90 minutes will be rolled out to British hospitals, care homes, and laboratories. To boost capacity in the coming months, the country's health minister said on Monday they will comprise 5.8 million tests using DNA and 450,000 swab tests. Neither will need to be administered administered by a health professional. And that was never the case. Never, never the case. That uh, The best we were capable of for coronavirus was, oh, we only have tests that you can be administered with a need of a, a health care professional to administer them bullshit as he said the fact these tests can detect flu as well as COVID-19 will be hugely beneficial as we head into winter so patients can follow the right advice to protect themselves and others separately the public funded okay so wait where's the funding coming from this the country's health minister millions of roll out in British hospitals so the country health minister but this is separately the publicly funded National Health Service said it would be offering COVID-friendly treatments to cancer patients, including drugs that do not have a big impact on the immune system. Britain's healthcare system has come under severe strain during peaks in the country's COVID-19 outbreak, which has killed more than 46,000 people, the fourth highest toll in the world, according to a Reuters tally collated on Sunday. Now, why was I confused about this? Because I forgot for a second. Oh, yeah, they have total socialized medicine in, in, in Great Britain. In the UK. Under the National Health Service. And I just, I, how do you not notice every time the costs of socialism and socialized medicine all around us. In the United States, yeah, we have a, <clears throat> a quasi-socialist healthcare system. I don't know, is it... If you're allowed to pull a splinter out of your finger without govern getting government permission, it's not a totally socialized healthcare system. It's sort of like the shit sandwich problem, right? If you, if someone gives you a... a, a, a if, you, if, if you give someone a hamburger <clears throat> and they take out the patty and replace it with a shit a shit patty or a turd and how do you go well there's still there's still a bun and lettuce and tomatoes and onions and ketchup and mustard here it's not really a shit sandwich no it's yeah we have socialized medicine in america it's a shit sandwich and the thing with the test is the same here in the united states as in with as in britain right you go, wait, we, we could have had these tests. We, we had this. Why? Wait, why? And you go, oh, government, this is why we can't have nice things. But in this case, I, you know, is it, oh, my God, they're killing people? Not by not getting them tests, except in the way that it furthers the confusion and despair and the support for the lockdowns and the shutdowns and the self-isolation that is leading to 
the undeniable reality now that the cure is worse than the disease.